welcome back now in this video first we will create a folder or we will just drag and drop it I have already have that data and I just save it right inside the assets folder I will just show you right in a while so first we will add that folder right in our project or lax clone app right in here so what I'll do as you guys can see right in here that asset folder right inside that let me open it in here we have some pawns as you guys can see there we go and also in here we have some icons images and right in here we have that images that we will use right in our project so I will simply just provide that folder and you guys can easily get it from the resources so don't worry for that what I'll do now I will just simply drag and drop that folder right in our project or like clone app right above that now in here as you guys can see we will simply just refactor it there we go with our folder assets okay I will just simply close it one by one from here that is fine and let me just open that folder so that you guys can get the idea there we go with the fonts icons images and there we go with the images okay so that's all and I can in here the images that we will use right in our project and there you go with the fonts all just fine now what I'll do, I'll simply go to wordzipopspec.yaml, open that, and down in here, we will just remove that from here, the hash, and there you go with the assets, and remove that from here, and with that S down below in here, you will have a dash, like that, and then we say assets, and then slash images so there is a path that we are providing right in here and it is going to just add it right in the project so down in here also you will say assets slash icons and write it and slash and guys make sure the format must be same or otherwise it will not work so make sure to write it in a proper manner okay so the assets let me go with the asset folder and we just add the images and the icons now we are left with the fonts so what I'll do now let's add that fonts down below in here first what I'll do I will just remove that from here to here remove it tell this and right in here let's add the fonts so in here write fonts and down below in here below this N as you guys can see okay right in here first you will go with the dash and then we say family and the first one it is going to be let me just check first you will add that babas right on the first so in here the family is going to be babas you can give the name babas okay and down in here you will say fonts that's fine and guys the format must be same like that okay the alignment must be like that now down below in here below this n we will say assets but before that we will add the dash like that and then we say assets just asset and now right in there assets with the s the slash then we say fonts it's right inside the fonts and then slash the name is going to be Babas. Yeah. And then we will say regular. So in here, write regular. And guys, the name must be same. Okay. Dot TTF. It's right inside the asset folder, as you guys can see right in here. And then right inside the fonts folder. So there we go with the fonts. And then we say that name babas neo 
dash regular dot ttf there we go okay now let's add another one so what I'll do I will just simply copy that family from here copy it from here to here and below that we will just paste it it's gonna be right in here okay look out for the alignment it must be in a proper manner now we will change this to lobster you can give the name in here and also fonts where in the assets we will change that name okay what I'll do simply in here come and go to the refactor rename and copy that name from here copy it control C and then cancel it and write in here just paste it okay there you go the lobster regular TTF now let's add the signature in here past it not this one first I'll copy that from here copy it and down in here past it look out for the proper manner now what I'll do we will change this to signature the spelling must be same so that you guys just don't get confused later on whenever we will use that font families so signature and I'll just add the name now that one copy it from here cancel it in here past it okay now we are left with the varela that last one we will add that copy it from here and in here down below let's add it like that now we will say Varela and you guys can also give the name just to the family whatever you want okay so I'll go with the same name Varela and I'll just copy the name right in here and guys that name must be similar okay like to that copy it and here past it fill around regular TTF so we are successfully done with that we had the phones families and also that assets and what I'll do now I'll just simply click on this pubcat so it will import that we are done with that it's successfully added so we are done with the postpack.yaml we will close that from here now I'll go towards the main dot dot get the dependencies right from here click on that we are done with that now you can simply ignore it so basically this video is getting a little lengthy we will end this video right in here so see you in the next one